All right, so let's head over to Kiev now where Anna Foster from our partners at the BBC is standing by. Anna, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so let us start with this secret meeting between the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, and the Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin. Do we know any more about the logistics, uh, the security concerns about getting them into and out of the country? Well, the logistics are really interesting because meetings like this are normally kept secret until after the high profile individuals have been, had their meetings and left again. But President Zelensky held a press conference here in Kyiv in a metro station deep under the streets of this city the day before on Saturday night. And he announced this visit before it actually happened. Now, the White House didn't make any further comment until after those meetings had been concluded and they were safely back in Poland. But it just shows you how important it was for President Zelensky and for Ukraine to have them visit here to announce that extra more than $700 million of spending and also to give that supportive message as well that the U.S. stands alongside Ukraine to bring people here to this city, which is still like everywhere else in this country under a security threat, showed a real partnership as this war continues. Um, so let us talk about the latest happening in Ukraine, the reports that we're getting this morning about uh, multiple attacks on the railroad infrastructure in Ukraine overnight. What can you tell us? That's right. So I'm here at the main railway station here in Kyiv. This will be where uh, Secretary Blinken and Secretary Austin arrived yesterday. You can't fly into this country at the moment, remember. And just a few hours after they left, we saw this morning these five Russian attacks, we're told, on different parts of the railway infrastructure. Now, it has been an absolutely crucial part of Ukraine during this war. Millions of people have moved through this station to safer places in the West, and a whole lot of equipment has moved from the West to the east where it's needed. So when we see these attacks this morning on things like traction substations designed to disrupt this heavy duty railway system, which has kept running through this war so far, it sends out a new message from Russia at this stage in the conflict. And what about negotiations? Where do they stand? It's been weeks since uh, Ukrainian and Russian officials have gotten together. Do we do we know whether or not perhaps this U.S. visit may have an impact on negotiations? That's a good question. And you're right. It has been weeks since the last set of formal talks happened in Istanbul, in Turkey. You're right. Remember that when the officials came out of those talks, it seemed like things might change. But within 24, 48 hours, things collapsed back to where they'd been beforehand. And there haven't been formal talks since. Of course, there haven't been any direct face to face talks between President Zelensky and President Putin. I think these latest developments with the U.S. visiting here shows that there is a push, a push towards trying to find some sort of peaceful resolution to this conflict. But I think with no more talks slated to happen soon, that may not be the direction that this war is going in right now. Yeah, indeed. Anna, thank you very much.